Hello, hello, YouTube. My name is Mitsu, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Anil slash Indigo. Last we left off, oh, my mouse on the screen. Last we left off, I had just saved Mr. Fuji completely, and I got my team absolutely dumpstered. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about Mew. Looking for, yeah, that would make sense. Honestly, man, if we get to catch Mewtwo, I am a hundred percent using Mewtwo on my team. Also, I feel like I did something on accident there that I wasn't supposed to. Megastone? If you guys have watched Origins, he gives Red a Megastone. I want him to give me one. Wait, what? Oh wait, I sh I'm gonna check the garbage. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna have to mute real quick. Or actually, I'm just gonna pause. Okay. Don't know why long distance is calling, but I apologize for that. I didn't think that was gonna happen at this time. But now that we have the Poke Flute, honestly, I think we found the new, the next member for our squad until I get a Zoroa somehow. Actually, I feel like if I actually go ahead and catch the Snorlax, it's gonna be very very difficult for me to deal with anything that's a fighting type so I'm probably not gonna do that Araquanid bug water I mean I do have a ghost type to be fair but still fighting types would wreck my TV more than what they do now Um, what am I bringing against the Raconid? I honestly think I need like a flying type on my team. A flying type would be extremely useful to my squad.
revive. Nice, nice, nice. May as well fight every trainer I can for EXP. Of course. No, man. If we're gonna be doing this, I'm just gonna increase my accuracy. If this is how you're gonna play this, I'm just gonna have to, you know, make sure that I don't miss. How did I miss? Oh my. I'm gonna have to pause real quick. I don't like the fact that the phone's ringing. Alright, so I don't think we'll. Hopefully, we won't be getting any more interruptions. Got unlucky with the phone ringing twice. I'm plus two attack. It shouldn't live this. It lived! I lived too! That was clutch. I didn't think I was gonna... I didn't think I was gonna live on two HP. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Aokichi up front, even though most of these battles are probably going to be water type for the most part. Oh. It's a beautiful sound, honestly. I'd love waking up to that. Alright, so I know this thing's got really good special defense and while I would love to catch this oh my god I would love to have this thing on my team it's one of my favorite Pokemon I'm gonna forego having it because it wouldn't be too great for my team Thankfully, it doesn't have amazing uh, physical defense. It's just really good on the uh, special end. And it has a lot of HP. And really good attack, actually. And you'd think he's not very fast, but he's kind of... I think he's kind of okay in speed, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Talking to Mons doesn't give you any items anymore. I see. Mm. This is also another thing I don't have much for. Specifically this. Oh, that did a lot. Wow. And that didn't do enough. Ooh. That's not good for me. Oh, well, that's good. I don't even think if it gets five hits, it would. Yeah. I don't think it can get five hits, actually. 
I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure Scale Shot can't get five hits. Maybe I should not use that and use my vial because I was going to try and go to the right or the left. Um, the reason I think I probably shouldn't use the hype potion is because I can't use the vial in battle. Oh my dear lord, that did damage. That is not okay. This thing hurts, man. Why does Vivalon do so much damage? Sauce buck? Okay, well that's an obvious switch into Charlie. Honestly, if I were to replace Charlie with anything, because I think Charlie would maybe be the most likely thing to get. What? Bro, why did that do so much damage? It's still such a loud sound effect, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say, Charlie would probably be the one Mon on my team I think I could replace. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna keep Snatch. Um, but, yeah, I'd keep, I'd swap Charlie out for a fire and flying type, because I think that's really what I need on my team right now, is exactly that, like, a fire flying type. Chilling water, that could be good. Ooh, a hyper potion, nice. Let's see what bonds are in this grass, though. Okay. Bro. I don't want to be fighting this thing. I did like no damage, okay. And it reduced my special attack. Okay. That kind of just destroyed my ears. Sorry, headphone users. bad either to be honest because it deals with opposing water types which I don't deal with well but do I want to kill a watch roll to be honest not really but this thing is about to fuck up my team I didn't want to click aerial ace. Oh my. Good thing I have a hyper potion here.
Roost is actually a great move. Too bad I don't have a ground type, actually, but I don't know how Earth's Ring evolves. Honestly? You know what? I'm gonna try and catch this thing. I don't have a grass type. Plus, I can put a a violate on it, or well, the violate I have on it. Well, never mind. I'm gonna say until it gets a level up with ancient power, so it'll evolve. But it already has ancient power, so it'll evolve in one level. just because I know Tangela is notoriously annoying to catch for me. Hey, let's go. Now, I'm gonna make sure I'm spelling this properly because I always misplace like one or two letters when I'm trying to spell this. Just gonna make sure. Okay. Okay. I always when I spell out spaghetti, sometimes I always swap the the G and the H for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I do. But yeah, now we got spaghetti. Who literally evolves in one level. He's got lax nature. So he's a thick boy with regenerator. Uh, special attacks are not going to be a great thing for him to take. So that's why we got Mama Bear who can kind of eat them a bit. No, more so actually Shades. Shades has really good special defense. I would fight that trainer, but I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure is this is a new town. Like a completely new town. Marengo town? Yeah, that's not in the original games. I don't care what anybody says, you're not gonna convince me those are in the original games. If you think those are, are the... In the original games, you're lying to yourself. Oh, convenient. I have Trailblaze. I think that crit mattered. I genuinely think that crit mattered. Lantern. No, I'm gonna stay with the facade. It's probably gonna do like T wave. Never mind. I was really hoping for like a status effect. Back to Marengo Town. I 
I will say though, the music here is definitely nice. Ooh. I wonder what that does. Just gonna explore a little bit. Wait, what? Oh. I like how that adds a little bit of lore to it. Ah, uh, and that explains all like the, the mill tanks and stuff. Can I get encounters in here? I don't think so, right? Oh, I can't, what? Probably gonna be like a bunch of farm animal as Pokemon, like bulls slash cows, and horse, donkeys, and stuff like that. Maybe there's like actually wait, what interesting like pig Pokemon is there? Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay, good. Use rest. Chonk. Eh. It's probably not a great idea to add a um, normal type to the squad, which is why I didn't add Snorlax. Oh! I was saying, I'm pretty sure I just go through this town, right? Please don't, but don't do this. Agatha, don't. Huh. Oh, so she knows about us just as much as we know about her. Wow, okay. It's pretty cool, actually, that word of us reached her. Please, please, Agatha, it, uh, tell me this is, you're the one who gives us the Megastones. What? 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can end the episode right there. That's perfect. Next episode, we will take on Agatha. Um, not at this health. So I'm gonna go heal real quick, and I'll come back to her. But if you guys managed to enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Make sure to have yourselves a great day. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.